Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. In the last episode, we took care of the stuff we had to do as a washing machine in this world. And now it is time to do the clinkers. Probably the most annoying jiggy in this entire world. This is take 4. Attention, the clinkers have invaded the sewer system and are blocking the vents. Neutralize them all before the air becomes toxic. Yeah, this is take 4. Uh, I did practice this a little bit off screen as well. I didn't get it. So, this is gonna be lovely. First of all, you're gonna have one here. Yeah, we're literally we're literally shooting pieces of crap in this place. There's one over there, there's one up there. Make sure you always look behind you and up uh, when you're doing this, because that's where they hide the harder ones. Pretty much keep taking... Uh, keep, just keep going right until you... Uh, well... Eventually we can't go right anymore. I think this is where we stop going to the right. No, actually not. There's one be right behind you there, and there's one over there. Then you go right again. There's one in here. I, I guess I want to pick up the honey. If you do end up running out of time, you won't die immediately. And uh, the extra uh, health that you have might save you. It might give you the last few seconds that you need in order to get it. Anyway, there's one in here. There's one up here. This is a... Uh, I think this is a dead end. Well, it's it's not. I know one of... I know there's a dead end nearby. And that's the one I always miss, so... There's one... Is that one down here? Or is that another room? No, that's a room we were just in. That's a room with a dead end. That end is in here. Well, now I am not making sense. I should probably just stop talking. That would make this make a lot more sense than what it's doing right now. That one, I really hate that one because you already, you always miss that thing. If this one over here, that's actually, that might actually be the one that I can never find. I know there's one in here somewhere. I know there's, there's one over there. There should be one more over there. Good. So I have about 80 seconds to find the last one. And I sure hope that's gonna be enough time. I might actually have to look upstairs because I haven't really checked too well up, up there. We're just gonna... Oh my god. Don't fall down now, please. We've already been in there. Let's look over here and nothing. Wait, I hear him. He's up there, isn't he? That's where he was on the last take. If he's up there, I swear. Get out of my way. There we go! Oh my god! I got it! I got it! Phew! Oh my god! I was so worried about this one. I was so worried about this one. I'm so glad I got it on the on the fourth take here. Oh, that scared me. The music stopped. I thought my game froze. Holy crap! Now we still have to get out of here. Uh, which shouldn't be too hard. Uh, this is actually the room where we started. So if we go up here, this is where the entrance is going to be. Oh man, I'm so glad I got that jiggy out of the way. I might actually uh, make a bonus episode out of my uh, failed attempts or something. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. So yeah, we're pretty much done in the sewers right now. They don't go back in. There we go. Glad we're done with that. I think I'm actually gonna show you the uh, elevator shaft because that's probably the fastest way to get out of here. It's right over here. And where we're gonna head now is the uh, the air conditioning plant because all that's left for us to do is to uh, fight the boss of this world. I might have to check my totals, but I should be able to. I should be up to. Um, oh, not Jinjos. I should be able to up. 
Why do you keep saying able? My god. Yeah, I'm up to seven Jiggy, so there's only one more we uh, we can get. I could just fall down. Junk ball! Fall proof. <laughs> and this leads back to... Uh, well, you know where it leads to. Right over here where the split pads are. So now all that's left for us to do before we can leave this world and uh, move on to uh, world 7 is to head into the uh, aircon plant. Which is actually uh, near the entrance somewhere. I'm going around in a full circle here. There, here, this is where it is. I thought I heard a globo for some reason, but that's one of the workers. <laughs> This is usually the place I uh, do last. This is also where our last notes are going to be. There's one over here on this side, and there's also going to be one on the other side. So, uh, let me head. Well, not like that. There's one over there. And you have this, uh, this pipe that's kind of spinning fast, or at least it looks like a pipe to me. I don't know exactly what it is. And this will lead us uh, to the boss of this place. This is the door we opened up, as you uh, might be able to see. There's, a, there's actually a door on the other side, but this thing is spinning way too fast, so we can't do anything about it right now. This place always reminds me of um, Rusty Bucket Bay from the first game. Repair Depot. So as you can see, there's, the, there's our last Cheeto page over there, but... Uh, yeah, you can try to walk this, but I assure you, you'll fail. Let me switch a grenade axe before we uh, reach the bottom here. And the door closes behind us. <laughs> what on earth is that? I think it looks like an enormous toilet cleaner. <laughs> well, it doesn't seem to be very mobile. See how the poor thing struggles to get in here. <laughs> this shouldn't be much trouble then. Well, this is actually probably one of the harder boss fights in the entire game, to be honest. And I like this one quite a bit. Weldar! Um, I believe it states quite clearly in the workers' guidelines that bears are not, are not being let into the building. So, well you're a bear, aren't you? Er, uh, no. Though, I must remember to wear my glasses. Well, I'm out now, so I might as well go to work on you. So yes, this is Weldar. What you want to do is you want to... He's going to start hopping around and eventually... Time to turn up the power dial, I think. <laughs> eventually he'll try to suck you in. I'll have to come closer, I can't see. Okay. And what you need to do is you need to try to shoot a grenade egg in his mouth if you can. And I missed him. Try to not take too much damage because... That would suck if you do. And his aim is pretty good as well, so... I missed! Please don't... Oh my god. We're already failing at this. And we're not... I'm not gonna die to this boss after... Uh, after beating the clinkers. No way. There we go. We got a grenade egg in. <laughs> Oof. Please refrain from doing that. I'm full of flammable gas. How about a few nuts and bolts? Well, I'm just gonna take care of those with my uh, gold feathers if you don't mind. We never really use those anyway. So, shoot another grenade egg. And there we go, another hit. <laughs> Perhaps if I use my weight a little more. This is still the easy part of the fight, by the way. I think he's gonna jump twice. I do believe he is. After the second jump, he's going to try to suck you in again, so that's when you want to get your grenade egg in. There we go. Halfway done here. This isn't going as planned. Where's my emergency switch located? That's better. Now let's see how nimble... Whoa. <laughs> Oh yeah, yes, so now uh, we have this electricity, and this is what makes the boss fight really hard, in my opinion. Because it's really hard to get the grenade again without getting hit. And he got me. Let's 
sucks. I am not dying to this thing. I tell you, I'm not. There we go. We got him. So now that it's pretty much gonna repeat what what he, he's pretty much gonna repeat what he just did. So uh, all we gotta do is take out these things again. And then he's gonna try to suck us in again, so we're gonna get another grenade egg in. Or I'm gonna miss. And at this last phase is probably the hardest, where he's gonna try to uh, stomp you while you're, while you're trying to jump these. Especially this part can get really annoying, because the camera doesn't want to cooperate with you. Let's get let's get away from him and Oh crap. I thought I would be able to get him, but I didn't. I might just waste all of my gold feathers here, I don't know. Yeah, I I'm just gonna keep using these because I'm a I'm a little worried now. I might die here. Please, please don't put me right there! Oh my god, we made it! Like I said, it's a pretty tough boss fight. Oh well, looks like my welding days are over. When his head smashes that thing! And that's gonna cause the uh, those things to uh, spin a lot slower. Actually, they're gonna stop spinning, I believe. And with that, that door will also open so that we can... Uh, I think that actually leads down, I believe, to uh, the last few notes. And at least to uh, the Jiggy we, uh, we get for this boss fight. Which started at... Uh, which started with opening up the door with the battery. <laughs> I appear to be quite badly injured. That's too bad. Now where's our prize? <sighs> I guess I can let you have this. What, you just gonna give me a jump pad? Is that all we get? You gotta be kidding. You may use it to get back out. I stashed my jiggy behind a giant fan for seat caping, but there's nothing to stop you from reaching it now. No, oh, when will I learn to keep my big mouth shut? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, all we need to do is just get back out of here. Let me pick up this health because I'm almost dead here. So, let's grab that jiggy, um, that Cheeto paste that's also in here, and then we're just gonna end of the episode we had a pretty uh, pretty intense episode here <laughs> first the clinkers and then the uh, and then the pretty tough boss fight here <laughs> that's probably the hardest boss you're gonna encounter in this game except for grunty that's also uh, a pretty tough boss fight it's quite a step up from the first game if you ask me but I'm getting way way ahead of myself here So, let us get to the Cheeto page. I'm just gonna do this as Banjo, because otherwise I'm just gonna fall down again. This is what really sucks about trying to walk this, because the camera never co cooperates with you. So now let's try to get Weldar's Jiggy, which should be in this room. I'm pretty sure we have to go down first, though. Uh, don't go too far down, because I'm pretty sure there's the toxic stuff down there. So if we go over here, we should be able to get to his Jiggy. And I'm pretty sure that's also where those notes are. Or at least this is where the Jiggy is. And remember this... You did not just do that. You did not just do that. Uh, oh well, let's head into the waste disposal plant here to get those last notes. There's also a Jiggy in here, but we can't get it until we get a move from uh, World 8, I believe. Or it might be World 7. This is where those notes are, right? Otherwise I'm gonna feel really stupid if it's not. Okay, I guess it's not. Well, in that case, I don't know where those notes are, and I'm not gonna care either. 
I'll just get them when I get back to this world for our back for our backtracking. Yeah, let me get back to that Jiggy real quick, hang on. Okay, we're back here where the Jiggy is. There we go. And with that, I am going to end off this video because we've go we've been going for almost 17 minutes right now. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna cut, but oh well, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you later. Okay, just uh, real quick, over here where we got uh, the snooze pack for Banjo. This is where the last, uh, the last notes are for this world. Kinda wanted to get those out of the way, so... And with that, we are really done with this video. Thanks for watching, guys.